Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at the slope-intercept form of a line. What to expect is that we are going to look at a line equation in this form and practice, practice, practice to learn what the parts are. First off, let's look at an equation. This might look like a line, and it is, but every line has an equation that's connected to it and tells you what it is mathematically. So an equation like this is connected to that line. Now I want to show you some parts in this equation that translate really easily to this line. First of all, we can see that the slope of this line is 2 over 1, or 2. It rises 2 and goes over 1. All right, there's a lesson on slope if you want to see that, but this is the slope of a line is 2. And the great thing is, is that that number 2, 2 over 1 or 2, is right there. So this form of a line, y equals something times x plus 1, the number in front of x, that's the slope. So you don't have to know how to calculate slope, you just have to know how to look at this equation and pick the number that's in front of the x. The other piece of information that we see is the 1. And the 1 is where it crosses the y-axis. That's called the y-intercept. So it crosses the y-axis at the point 1, 0, 1, which is right there. And so we can see the slope and the y-intercept. That's why this form of a line is called the slope-intercept form of a line. So again, it's arranged like this, y by itself on the left, some number times x plus another number. The number that's in front of x is our slope, and the number at the end is our y-intercept. Now, let's get rid of all those extra letters and actually do some practical questions with this. If I've been given this equation, y equals negative 3x plus 2, and they tell me, they don't give me a graph, they don't give, show me the line, they just say, what's the slope? All I have to do is point right there. Whatever number is in front of x is the slope, negative 3. That's my slope. Next question. Where does this line cross the y-axis? That's this, 2. It crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 2. So that is my y-intercept, and that is my slope. Every single time, the number in front of x is your slope. The number by itself off to the side here is your y-intercept. If you have the equation arranged like this, y by itself on the left and something times x plus 2 or plus another number that's the information you've got all right your turn i'm giving you a bit of a harder one but i want you to tell me what is the slope follow exactly the same rules that i just showed you put your mouse over where the slope is boom did you put it right there two-thirds that's my slope were you able to get that? That's where slope is located. Whatever the number in front of x, it doesn't matter if it's a fraction, a decimal, a positive number. Um, they usually won't write it as a decimal, but it could be a positive, negative, doesn't matter. That's the slope, the number in front of x. Next question. What's my y-intercept? Where does this line cross the y-axis? Put your mouse over the answer. Boom, did you get it? Negative 7. My y-intercept is negative 7. It crosses the y-axis at the point negative 7, or 0, negative 7. All right, try again. I want you to try this one out. What is the slope of this line? It's going to be a little bit more challenging. What's the slope of this line? Put your mouse over it. Boom, you said that's not more challenging. It's the same thing. It's whatever number is in front of x. If it's a negative 4 over 5, it's a negative 4 over 5 slope. That's it. All right, last question. I want you to pause and solve it. Where is the y-intercept of this equation? Where does it cross the y-axis? Hey, welcome back. Is it, did you get 2,000? That's exactly it. The slope of this line is 7. The y-intercept is 2,000. That's right. Whenever you have a line written in this form with y by itself on the left, some number times x plus another number. The number in front of x is the slope. The number here is where it crosses the y-axis. That is it. This is called the slope-intercept form of the line. Make sure to practice, practice, practice. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. You can check out some other videos. Have a wonderful day.